all right so good morning everyone this is Ampere Freeman, your tutor and I just want to welcome you to my YouTube channel um, to those of you that are new you are coming here for the first time you're learning from me for, uh, for the first time um, just encourage you that you hit the like button you also uh, hit the subscription button so that you'll be able to receive almost every update concerning every video that I make on my channel all right so today what's our tutorial all right so i'm here to teach you how to write a perfect and perfect and excellent lab report all right so uh, i receive quite a lot of questions from students like well how do you write a lab report what is involved in a lab report how should a lab report be well how should, how do i get 100 percent uh, in a lab report, how do I get this in a lab report? Well, hope you'll be able to learn something even as I go through my points with you. And uh, also, don't forget to uh, write them down and also try to expand and analyze them so that you can get quite a lot of information. Without wasting much time, let's get into our usual business. Now, uh, to those of you that are doing natural sciences for different universities, um, in as much as you write the test, what, what, there's a part where you have to do laboratories, okay? So, uh, usually that part requires you to write a lab report, and uh, that lab report is part of your CA. So, the better you write it, the better you get to be graded and it's very possible for one to get a hundred percent in a lab report depending with how excellent the lab report was so with me here i have seven steps seven simple steps to write a perfect lab report number one the first step to write a lab report you are supposed to know what your M is. So in the M, or let me say when you write the M, what is the M all about? The M is just that which you want to achieve at the end of the day. Okay? So what do you want to achieve in your lab report, in your laboratory experiment? What exactly do you want at the end of it? What results should you expect when you do an experiment? So you are supposed to know your main result achievement that you want to have at the end of it all. Okay? So that is your M. What is the experiment all about? What results do you want to acquire at the end of the experiment? So that is what you write under the M. Okay? So you can say, uh, what example can I give? So you can say, demonstrating demonstrating how to use a pendulum okay so what you want there you want to really show how to demonstrate a pendulum so at the end of it all you expect a pendulum to be demonstrated so that is what you write under your end second you are supposed to write the apparatus now um, on the apparatus you are supposed to list all the items that you will be using as uh, uh, you are doing that experiment. So you list uh, those items uh, using points, okay? Uh, you, you may use bullets, you may use a star, you may use whatever, uh, 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 whatever point that you want, but as long as it's uh, listed, at least in, in, in order, then automatically you are doing the need. So that is what you write under the so just state what you are using whilst uh, doing your experiment. All right, so that is not much more work. The procedure. Now, under the procedure, that is where a lot of people mess up. They try to copy the procedure that is in the lab manual, trying to cope up with what is in the lab manual. When the lab instructor is saying, you should come up with your own uh, procedure. So when it comes to procedure, usually I personally, um, uh, I encourage students to write what they were doing. You write what you saw. 
always you are doing that lab report. So write what you saw. Uh, state exactly just what you observe. Okay? By doing so, you get to excite the lab instructor. And you get to uh, communicate a message saying you really understood what you were doing in the lab. The introduction. Well, during the introduction, you, you, you just said you are supposed to outline what you are doing, okay? So you introduce your experiment. You introduce your experiment. Usually, sometimes the introduction is called the theory. So you are supposed to uh, write what that, what that experiment is all about, uh, uh, what you expect. You just bring out all the points concerning what you expect. What, 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 you, uh, what you're doing, okay? You're just introducing that experiment. And usually when you check in your uh, 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 lab menus, you are already given the introduction, okay? That's the good part about it. So you just um, write, summarize, and just try to uh, put the points in order, okay? Now, um, when you do the introduction, then you now bring up the data collection now the data collection is just what you collected all as you are doing the, uh, uh, the lab okay so you discover that uh, you'll be given uh, some papers where you you write whatever you're doing there you write whatever you are, uh, you're using for the experiment okay so you might do some calculations there you're supposed to you put them in the uh, data collection table uh, that the unit you write the units what you know there are different uh, uh things that you do there but then all in all what whatsoever you've collected in the lab you are supposed to put it on the data collection table and usually use the data collection table in order to uh, uh try to expand it and also come up with different and different and different uh, statements that would make the lab report perfect okay so the data collection table is quite easy. Next one, data analysis. Now, what exactly is the data analysis all about? So data analysis is just all about analyzing the data collection. So in the data uh, uh, analysis, that is where you're allowed to do calculations, to show the calculations, conversion of units, whatever you are doing, you show them, you show the lab instructor that surely you know what you're, what, what you're doing. So you show out, you, you prove out your calculations, okay? You prove out your conversion of units if there is need. Uh, uh, usually that is why we do match calculations and that is why we, we, we try to show the lab instructor that surely uh, uh, we know what we were doing. So make sure that you bring out all the necessary information because that is where you earn good marks. The summary. Now, in the summary, you don't have to waste time, okay? You don't waste time. The only thing that you are supposed to do is simply to summarize whatever you are doing, okay? You summarize whatever you are doing. You just give out a hint in a small... Uh, 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 Paragraph, okay, to simply tell the lab instructor that whatsoever that you did from start up to the end, okay, surely it has been put in a small hint so that he is able to, you know, I'm sure you understand what I'm trying to say, so that he is at least able to know saying, okay, uh, 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 this is what the student is talking about. Then the last one is simply the conclusion. There you don't have to waste time. You are supposed to state whether your experiment was successful or it wasn't. So usually many people say uh, blah, 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 blah. They will say, you know, write all kinds of things. Then they will say, however, the experiment was quite successful at the end. When you bring out just these points in a lab report, your handwriting is quite perfect. Your points are neatly and uh, 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 excellent connected. You expect your lab instructor to give you 100%. Thank you so much. Subscribe.